morning everyone, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here for Tapas Week. Um, yeah, we thought we'd do, we spent a weekend with our friends Carlos and Nicky a few weeks ago and Carlos did some lovely tapas, you saw us do the croquetas and so we thought we'd do lots of tapas, so we're going to do that this week. Um, going to change things a little bit, I'm going to do a couple of shout outs at the beginning. Uh, one because, and I'll show you who's here in a minute, but one because Andrea's not here this week, so shout out to Andrea for all the help that you do. I think it's appalling that you're skiving off, but anyway. Um, so second shout out has to go to Sol, my nephew, uh, who is competing today uh, in uh, a Telford. Gym, Telford. So they're on there. Andrea's going with him and his dad. Uh, uh, they're all off to Telford to, for Sol to compete for England, I think. Anyway, yeah. whatever. I'll make that bit up. That might not be right. But he is in the England team, so cool. Um, gymnastics, did I say that? No. Um, next shout out yeah. uh, to uh, Ethan and Ben. Now, Ethan is a little lad who lives in the village and I met him last night, or we met him the last night, when unfortunately he came a cropper on his bike directly outside our house. So we picked him up and hopefully you'll get better soon. I think he's actually fractured his elbow. Uh, so, and Ben was his dad, who is BB Fit on Instagram. Um, so, yeah, so to Ben and Ethan and his mum, obviously, who looked a bit worried when I showed up, but it was really random. Walked up with, uh, I drove him home, put his bike in the car, drove him home, and he opened the front door and he goes, Oh, it's Meat Smoke Fire. He knew exactly who I was. He watches the show. So, there you go. Um, next shout out to somebody else who. Uh, is suffering a little bit at the moment but getting better and that Simon Burt of uh, Luncheon Munchen who uh, has had Covid and is in hospital, bless him, um, and he does the uh, Apollo 11 uh, rub that we used so do look him up Luncheon Munchen, get better soon Simon. And then last one for the start of the show, really random, Wheels Grill Shack, uh, congratulations having a baby next May. Oh. Good month, May. Anyway, that's all I need to say. Have I forgotten anyone? I don't think so. I okay, think perfect. So. Right, so this week, and on camera, Helena. So uh, there won't be too many comments going on because on the iPad, Mama. Uh, still got a, it's all right. Usual service is resumed. <laughs> We've got the RB73 keeping her warm. So she's happy. Right, so three cooks, um, and I started little bits of them. So we're doing the croquetas de jamón serrano. Um, so um, ham croquetas, and what I learned is there's no potato and no cheese in a croqueta. Who knew? Um, we are going to do um, some patatas bravas with a salsa, a hot salsa sauce, which we'd made during the week and was delicious. And we are going to do some pork um, kebabs, Moorish style. So the Moors who came from North Africa uh, brought all their spices with them to Spain. And the Spanish now make tapas using all these spices. So ras al hanout. Um, but we're going to make it. So there you go. Right, on this egg, I'm going to make the sauces on the Minimax. So you can come in a bit, Helena. I've already got in here, just getting going, uh, some diet leek. Um, and I just wanted to warm that up and get that going a little bit just to speed things up because I need to make our salsa first. So I'm going to take this off now, which seems a bit random. Pop it over here. And we're going to make our salsa for our patatas bravas first. So I have a cast iron pan, so it's just a normal big green egg skillet. Into that I'm going to put some, and you don't see me do this very often, extra virgin olive oil. This is to you, Carlos. This is to all you. Carlos is on. This is to all you Spanish people out there who cook with extra virgin. Um, so we're going to put a load of that in there. Oh, I've run out. I've got some more indoors, but we'll be fine. That's fine. Um, and we're just going to give these a buzz round. Now we want to soften our, uh, soften off our um, uh, onions a little bit and then we'll crack on with the rest. So, there's gonna be a lot of doing sauce on this egg today, or doing sauces and bits. 
but it's also one of these recipes where I've made a lot of things earlier. So I'm gonna jump through a few steps and, and, and you'll see. So this egg, mini max, lovely and warm, um, gonna be our sauces. Behind us, <coughs> Sorry, Ricky camera girl. Yeah, yeah, she's not very good at reversing, especially when there's a hot fire behind her. Um, we have Ooh. some mini roast potatoes. So these are just, uh, um, I've used those red rooster potatoes. Um, in here, a load of extra virgin olive oil. So about four and a bit, maybe even more than that, tablespoons. Now what I did with these potatoes, cut them up, peeled them, cut them up, um, new technique um, some bicarbonate and soda in with the potatoes when you boil them and it makes them fluffier apparently giving it a go they look good um, so part boiled so brought them up to the boil boiled them for a minute then let them drain and then we've had them in here they've been in for about 30 minutes already um, I want them to be ready at the end so we're gonna then put a sauce over the top of those so looking good they are cooking indirectly we've got our convector in there underneath you probably can't see it that easily uh, so we've got a convector in there. I've just got the big green egg, large skillet, which is in stock. Um, and we're doing the potatoes. Right, see how our onions are going. Morning, Karen. Morning, Cheryl. Morning, Siobhan. Siobhan? Uh, yep. Yeah. Morning, uh, Siobhan. Haven't had Siobhan on for a long time. Uh, and barbecue medic and Franco. Morning, Steve. Morning, Franco. Um, Franco's just back from beautiful Venice. Uh, I sent him to a square that we love. Hopefully it was good, Franco. Um, we have, we've had beautiful Aperol spritz there and all sorts. Um, yeah, one of our favorites, Venice, not to go back. Right, so uh, that sauce is going on there. We're gonna make another sauce in a bit. On this egg, um, it's on, it's on low. Uh, I have a wok filled with, and the recipe says extra virgin olive oil. I'm not deep frying in extra virgin olive oil, um, but if you look at it, the oil is 182 and I want 180, get in. Um, so the oil's just sitting in there. If you looked at the egg, it was sitting at about 140 degrees. And I've said this before, um, because the bottom of the wok is right next to the charcoal, the oil will heat up. So ignore your dome or don't, maybe not ignore it. Um, it will be a low setting. Um, so, uh, so 140 means your oil, because it's so close, will probably be about 180. So try that. Got it, sat in the Kamado Space Infinite Kitchen. Now, I think I've talked about these on the show before. We put one in this week. Thank you to Rimas who saved my bacon when I made a mistake, um, but we recovered it and uh, we've got a very happy customer who had his first cook on his island and his brand new egg last night and it looked amazing. Um, I'm putting another one in this week and the good news is that uh, the offer that was until the end of October to have a free cover with every one of these has now been extended. So I think I'm allowed to say that. Hopefully I was allowed to say that, Rimas. Um, so yeah, if you buy one of these, uh, you will get a free cover with it. The bad news is the XL version of it has been delayed a little bit. Um, so I haven't quoted anyone for one of those yet, uh, but um, they're gonna be delayed slightly. Um, so, but uh, these normally show up in about three or four days. So um, if you want to upgrade your egg from its table, if the table's looking a bit shabby, Love this stainless steel construction. Love it. Anyway, um, prices on them are going up in the new year. So it will go from 2,599 to 2,899 because of the cost of steel and so on. Right, let's get back to our salsa. Now I'm gonna rush this a bit, but you won't be able to taste it. It will still look amazing. There's salt sa saute. So into with our onion, that's just one onion. Um, three cloves of garlic. I've just roughly chopped them. Morning, Sam. Morning, Gabinda. Morning, Sue. Morning, Gabinda. So, Gabinda also has a Camargo space. He just, yes, he's just put Love My <laughs> Island and Egg. And thank you to, putting it, to you and Remes for putting it together. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you're going to buy one of these, they're flat packed, uh, which is great for London. Uh, but they are... 
what's the right word? Um, if you if you can do IKEA furniture, is what I always say about an egg. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean you can do one of these. It is hard. Uh, to, even with Remas this week, it still took me three hours. Although it took me three hours to do my own on my own. Um, anyway. Morning, Martin. Martin. Hawkins. Morning, Martin. Wow. How many have we got? Uh, about 30. Morning, Coco. Awesome. Coco, your breads are still looking incredible. The one you sent us was epic. Somebody we've got to meet at some point. Well, all of these people got to meet, but right. So, so. just as a reminder, um, Andrea's not here today. She's gone to watch my nephew compete in gymnastics. So uh, I'm on the camera. Um, Mum, Mama is on, but she's not doing comments. So um, uh, if you've got any questions, she'll note them down and we'll ask them. But yeah, morning, Chris Leonard. Oh, right to freestyle this because i've forgotten how much i need to put in it's quite a lot okay. um, we are going to go in with spanish paprika um i think it was quite a lot from the recipe <laughs> so i'm going in with two of those i remember the cayenne was half a teaspoon so we're going to put some cayenne in with it and of course i'm freestyling half a teaspoon clearly that's definitely more than half a teaspoon yeah we like a bit of a kick got to keep mama on her toes <laughs> Right, uh, so that's going in. A bit of black pepper. I'm coming in to have a look. Yeah, I'm going to give that a zhuzh. Smells lush. And then onto this, just want to get those those um, flavours going, the spices going a little bit. Onto that, then we're going to put our tin of tomatoes. And Helena's comment this week was, it needed to be a bit wetter. So I'm going to go and get a little bit. Get the lid shut, don't want it to overheat. A little bit of water out the sink. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's got that. <laughs> Morning, Will. Uh, you just joined, we gave you a little shout out earlier. Oh, look at the beginning, uh, Will. Yeah. When we sit Congratulations. It up. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, so hello to Rebecca in Devon and Smithy's Smokehouse. Wow. Right. That is our salsa to go on top. I'm going to put a bit of salt in. Now, what I want to do is free this egg up. Mm. So, I'm going to pull the lid shut. Right, here you go, Helena. Now we're going to keep you on your toes. Uh oh. Behind you. It's behind you. This way? Yeah, we're going to this egg. So we've got those potatoes cooking in there beautifully. Oh, they're gonna be good. So all I'm gonna do, stick the expander layer over the top. One get in there, we go. And I'm gonna move my salter and put it over the top. So stay where you are, Helena. Morning, Dave. Morning, Kev. Morning, Rich. There you go. So we've got our potatoes, bravas, salsa um, set at the top. That can just cook now over those potatoes. Right. So that is our potatoes, bravas done. Perfect. Let's get back to this egg then. Hello. Thank you. So we have our leeks, which have softened. I'm going to call that. They look all right to me. Nice. Now you could do this on the hob at home, inside, um, but we haven't got a hob in, out here. So. In here, this is our Hamel Serrano. So we've got, um, if you have a look at the recipe, it'll tell you how much. So you can buy, I think it's, I wanna say 60 grams, 70 grams. Um, is this recipe up on the website? The recipe is already on the website. Blimey. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're gonna pop that in with our leeks and give it a little bit of a fry. Ooh, so, I'll freestyle on you, do that last time. Oh God. I'll leave, shall I? <laughs> She's taking over. Right, so we're going to give this a little bit of a fry, get that mixed together. We want the pan to start to heat up. Oh, another shout out today. Well, another. So, today we are cooking everything over glow voltage charcoal. Um, so, they sent me a box to try. Um, it's birch. So far, I'm loving it. Um, so this is a 15 kilo box. I don't know if you can see in the top, Helena. Um, this came by a courier. 
look at the side the bits are good sizes um this arrived upside down so all the dust was at the top and there wasn't much which is good so um it arrived in pretty good condition even though this box is battered um, the couriers have done their best so um initial impressions uh really good right so we have in here our leeks our hamel so now it's time to put in some plain flour this is 60 grams of plain flour um, we haven't got any butter so we're going to make a roux we haven't got any butter in here we've got tons and tons of olive oil so same sort of thing so in goes our flour do you know how much the 60 60 grams no 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 how much is 15 kilos of globaltic um i think it's 25 quid okay off the top of my head i think it's 25 quid um so will, it's you pretty reasonable that. but we'll let you know um i will feed back to them what i think of it um maybe they'll sponsor our weekly cook um, that'd be epic so J J jeanette's asked a question she yeah. said do you find that birch burns faster it is burning quite hot yes but it's not go it's not disappearing faster um we did a cook on it last night what did we cook last night or was it no the night before i did the potatoes bravas yeah uh on the egg over there and i was really surprised this morning how much was left um so yeah reasonably impressed but i will do more testing so and um, feedback but so far i like it thanks will yeah it is 25 quid a bird yeah uh, so gabinda said is it better than big green egg charcoal I will tell you when I've used it a bit more. It's a bit early days. Um, it's from Europe, so that's better. Um, it's not come as far on a ship. Um, so for that, for that, I like it. Right. This, Where are we going? Oh, okay. huh? Sorry? We're staying here. So this uh, sauce, what we're trying to do is just cook the, the uh, flour now. You don't want it, you, when you're making a roux, you need to cook it through. You need to break the flour, um, otherwise it'll be quite starchy, quite floury at the end. So um, you just need to do leave that going. So um, I'm going to keep stirring it just so I don't burn it. But it needs about three or four, five minutes, I think I said in the recipe. I'm stopping it sticking to, from the bottom. But this is leek, hamel and flour so far with a load of olive oil. It was about four tablespoons of olive oil. Correct me on the... Carlos can correct me on if I get all the um, measurements. measurements wrong because this is, uh, he put me, this is a, a, it's not his recipe, but he put me onto it. Mm. Ran out of Diet Coke, got a ring, eat the other stuff. So let's have a look at this one. Right. Can you see our salsa bubbling away at the top? We're going to put that through the Thermomix in a bit when it's cooked down, when we're happy with this. Oh, it's tasting good. I'm happy with that. Right. Sorry, camera girl. Didn't can get any. Just stand can there. Can you just stand there? It's cold. Did <laughs> no. you not put your coat on? No, I'm fine. I was just joking. Right. Uh, another stir. And then we'll get this roux going. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with it. Oh, I think that will do. Um, so, Will from Grill Shack has asked... Um, what cast iron pan are the roasters in? Uh, the cast iron pan for the roasters is the is the large big green egg skillet. Love the big green egg skillets. You know, if, if you come to one of our classes, I'll tell you if you're going to buy cast iron, either buy the big green egg skillets, or if you don't want to pay that much money, um, go to TK Maxx and buy one and cut the handle off. You can probably pick up a cast iron pan for a fiver at TK Maxx. So, um, why was it going over here? Well, don't know. Anyway, right. I know why. I want you to put this together. Right. So, the next thing's going in. I'll do it here. This is, and I don't think it really matters, but hot water. Um, the idea was, we're going to put in, well, I'm going to do this slightly backwards, um, ham stock cubes. Um, so, you should really melt them, but I'm just going to crumble them in to, straight into here and then we'll put the liquid on and they'll dissolve, it'll work. So, um, Ooh, made a mess of opening that. Elias has said, have you 
tried the other varieties of big green egg charcoal and do you have any preference? Uh, yes, I've tried all three. Um, if I'm buying any of the big green egg ones, I am buying their oak and hickory, the original one. It's my favorite. Uh, the maple, um, just burned, it was smoky, burnt too fast, didn't like it, wasn't impressed with it um, personally. Not my favorite, I mean, it's, it's okay but I prefer the normal. Um, so I've just put the stock cubes in and then the eucalyptus, um, no flavor, very, very little flavor, um, no smoke, which is fine if that's what you're after. If you're after something that doesn't smoke much, then the eucalyptus is good, but it does come away from Brazil. Um, is it from a Brazilian rainforest? I don't know, um, hopefully not. So I'm going to top this up to make my 400 millilitres. So in there, there's 325 millilitres of full fat milk. So we're going to put a little bit in and then give it a stir. So this is just a classic roux now, but it's got bacon and leek in it. No pressure, you've got to get this right on camera, you know. Huh? Just saying. It's going, it's going all right. So start, starting to come together a little bit more. Now obviously we've got the lid open. If you were doing this inside, it'd be probably a little bit easier because you won't, wouldn't be fighting with an egg that's getting hotter and hotter. Um, I need to get the lid down, but I also need to make this. So I'm gonna go heavy. Ooh, probably splash it everywhere now. Well, at least it's outside. Yeah. That's kind of working. Um, yeah. What do you think of and flame charcoal? Uh, Wickle and flame uh, is some of the best on the market. Um, expensive. Um, I've not used it. Um, I find it hard to pay that sort of money for charcoal. To be fair. Well, particularly the amount we get through. Yeah. Right, I'm going to take this off for a minute while I cool this egg down because it's really going. I don't want to burn this while I leave it. Um, but you get the point. We're making a roux. Now, what you're going to do with this? Have I forgotten? Oh, I've forgotten the nutmeg. So I'll do that while we're at it. <laughs> Irish egg. I don't need to encourage him to have anything else outside. He's not having a portable induction hob. That's what he said. Got an induction hob inside. So we're going to put some nutmeg in there, fresh, freshly grated. Probably a bit much, but it's lush. Yeah, we've got induction indoors, so yeah. I can just go indoors normally. We'll get that mixed in. It's all right, it's not stuck to the bottom. Our egg is... It smells nice, yeah. smell it. Yeah, now you could put some salt in here. Um, it does call for a tiny bit of black pepper, so I'll pop that in. Um, but you'll probably find that the um, hamel is salty enough already. Did you bring out a... What? A We're good. Baking parchment and... That's got to cook. Okay. So that needs to now cook and thicken up. Um, it's going to take about 10 minutes. Right, we're going to go over here. So when that is all cooked through, this stuff I prepared earlier. You will pour it into a little tray. So I have, this is half a batch. Um, you can pour it into a little tray. I might come down the other side if that's all right. Yeah, that's whatever right. you want. Yeah, if you want to go around there, that's cool. Works better for me. Right, uh, pour it into a tray and let it cool. Put it in the fridge so that we made this last night. And I've just cut it into little bits. I roll them up, shape them into little oblongs. Now I'm gonna get really messy doing this, but I'm gonna do all eight. Um, shape them to little oblongs. Um, the recipe says balls, but, um, but then rub them in, uh, roll them in flour. So it's just plain flour into egg. And I suggest you keep one hand free and then into breadcrumbs. Yeah. 
and I'll put them on my chopping board. So I'm gonna do a few more, couple more. Maybe I won't do all of them. It's not very exciting, is it? So again, into the flour, into the egg. Into the breadcrumbs. So, no, they're not panko breadcrumbs. No, they're they just are. Paxo. <laughs> Did everyone get that? Yeah, Paxo breadcrumbs. I'll do one more. Last one. Is that Sue Stoneman asking that? Yeah. Yeah, I could have whizzed them up and no. It's just, when we had them at Carlos's, they were so good. It's like, right, what did you use, Carlos? Uh, and it was those. Um, so just from Tesco's or Sainsbury's or Waitrose or wherever you shop. Right. Oh, that one's falling apart a bit. That's me rushing it. But you can see, they look nice. So let me move this out of the way. Then you need to put them back in the fridge. And then they'll come out looking like that. Right, I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, I'm going to give them a little... Okay. Good. So you can just see that compared to those, they harden off a little bit, I think, and then we'll just hold there. Right, I'm going to give this a stir. Oh, here we go. We're back. We're back. This is... This is oh, Morning, it's not, Ben. It's not burnt. So keep stirring it. This is going to take about 10 minutes. And what you're looking for is this to really thicken up and it will start to pull away from the sides of the pan. Is that Ben, farming Ben? Yes. Hey, morning Ben. And Christian has just joined, Christian Bleakley. Morning Christian. And another Ben, I think, joined oh, as well. Right. right, so in that is our Hamon Serrano roux. So basically there's chopped leek, um, you saute down, you add the hamel, you fry it for a minute, you then add the flour to make it into a roux um, with the olive oil that was already in there. Um, and then we've added uh, just milk and um, uh, milk. Hot water. And hot water and nutmeg to that. And now we're just gonna keep turning it. It comes out a bit lumpy like we saw, you know, a big flat thing, put it in the fridge to cool down. Then you can shape it into your croquettes and then we're gonna cook those. Let's just check how warm our oil is. Morning, Sam. So 185. Oh. Bang on. Stick with it. Right. Uh, so we've got that going. We've got that going. So now we need to do our third dish. I don't know what I haven't got. Anyway, but we'll show you. It's all right. So the third dish is our pork... Um, Mora uh, Moorish pork skewers, okay? Now this is a lot of, and I do need to get some olive oil, so I'll get that and I'll get the pork. So okay. you can just choke it around. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I might also take the opportunity to try and put my uh, coat on in a minute. Uh, Rich, uh, so uh, we sell the aprons. So this is the carnage that Nick leaves around, just so you know, it's not all glamour on the cook so mama and i will tidy all of this up after nick's finished cooking we normally have a little spot of lunch and we normally have a little drink mum's on the cremon today she's looking very serious look right sorry about that people i thought i had plenty of olive oil <laughs> and i didn't Jeanette says she needs to purchase another six ceramic eggs yeah, go for it, Jeanette. Um, we can sort you out with the, the, the right colour. Uh, none of this red rubbish. Um, just saying. Franco said, how's the garage? I was just showing oh. him the carnage. Yeah, yeah, the... Franco, forget the garage. Not your well, it's full. It's full of good stuff. Um, so we're going to have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Now, in here, this is a lot of spices. We put them in a box because they were blown away. I've got a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of coriander, both ground. Okay, we have uh, a tablespoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of, Corian uh, of oregano. So a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of um, 
cinnamon, half a teaspoon of black pepper, five teaspoons of, um, I'm looking around because I forgot to bring my spoon out. Garlic. Uh, garlic. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll cut you a deal. No. Do you want to take the camera for a minute so I can no. put my coat on and I'll get you a spoon? Oh, what am I going to do? Selfie? <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell if you can see me, but uh, I'll just get one of the spoons from over here. Okay, thank you. There you go. Uh, so, if we have a look at this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll pass it back now. Sorry, uh, guys, I just need to put my coat on, it's cold. So, we want to make this into a, a runny paste. So I need a bit more olive oil in there. Because this is going to be our marinade for our pork. So we'll get that in there. We need to put in um, half the juice of half a lemon. I actually put a whole lemon in last night. I've made one of these already. Go with half, that was a good lemon. And so we now have a marinade for our pork, okay? Now, you could just use um, some ras al hanout from the shops if you wanted. Um, that is my pork, that's lucky. Um, now, I've only got a tiny piece of pork here because we've made it, the rest already. But this is a bit of pork fillet. From what, one of our pigs? This is our own pig. So, um, I'm just going to chop it up into cubes. So small cubes, pop it in. Now obviously you, this is enough to make a kilo of pork, so there's a bit much on those, but you get the idea, okay? Right, let me just do this. Give myself a little wipe, we'll go and check our Oh, room. someone was admiring your apron earlier, by Thank the way. You. Oh, it's thickening up nicely now. Mm. That is looking good. Looking good. Right, another two or three minutes on that, I reckon. But it's thickening, thickening up. I haven't burnt the bottom. This is not bad for a... Who was it you said I need induction? <laughs> Just need an egg and uh, the tea Fallingino pans. Perfect. Right, so, done that. So now we're going over there, Helena. Right, okay. I do need to grab a pair of gloves, so I'll meet you over there. So in true Blue Peter style, <laughs> here's some I made earlier. And I thought um, you can do them on wooden skewers. <coughs> Excuse me, you can do them on wooden skewers and you can do them straight on the grid. <laughs> What's that? Try your sausage. Oh. I think she means Sandra has just put your homemade sausages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we could send some over. Let us know when your friend is up or come visit us. So um, we could just, you put them on a grid, but if you look in here, I've got no surfaces in here at all. Got the Glow Baltic charcoal going nicely. Um, we're just gonna take the uh, regulator off the top. Now this works perfectly well on a Kamado Joe as well. So Sue has already cooked. Pop your ring on the top, and then you can lower your skewers in. Now this egg is sat about 200, 180, 200. So we're just lowering them in, hook them on the top. I've got it. These are gonna probably take about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so someone has asked, how long did you marinate the pork for? They've been in overnight. So it'd be better overnight. Okay. Now, I've got, I've got a... <laughs> Hello. There you go, hang on. Thank you. She's losing the pens. Um, because you've now got a big hole at the top, you need to regulate the temperature a little uh, with the bottom. It was about 180. I think it'll come up just over 200. Um, but we'll see, and we'll let those cook. Right, so oh, over here, Helena. Okay, Team Red is in the house. Um, team, uh, we're not having any Team Red talk over here. This is Team Green only today. <laughs> but the uh, tandoor works really well on the tomato. It does, Camado. it does. So Sue has uh, Team Red. Still at 180, look at that, 179, 180, perfect. So Sue is team red, Jeanette's team red, we'll let them off for that. Uh, Rob's barbecue is uh, team we're, red. Well, we're, we're not letting him off. Uh, uh, so. Gabinda says he's trying the let's, let's queue in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna take our croquetas. So just a reminder, they're ham, they're leek, 
Um, it's got it's just made a roux. We've rolled them up in uh, in uh, flour, egg, breadcrumbs, and then we're going to lower them in. Oh, can't wait to have some of these. These are so nice. Yeah. Right. So these are going to take three or four minutes. I'm just going to separate them so they don't stick together. Hopefully it's not too windy. The wind started picking up yeah. a little bit. Let us know if we're getting. If well, we'll we'll look at the, review it afterwards. So those are in. Let's get rid of that. Love this. Lid shut. They're going to take three, four minutes. So while we're doing that, let's go into our sauce. Oh, let's just give this one a quick. If you look at it, this is all bubbled up nicely. And when I stir it, it starts pulling away from the sides. That is ready. So I'm going to take that off this egg. I'll just pop it on there because it's heat proof. We're going to put it into a tray and cool it. Um, but let's start over here. So um, I'm just going to blend our sauce. So our potatoes are looking superb. Our sauce is looking lovely. Now this is the tricky bit, getting it into our so Sue has said for a light version, i.e. A, a healthier version, she says you could probably bake them on a tray at a fairly high heat. What, the croquettes? Yeah, I guess so. No! I'm joking, Sue. You probably could, but why would you? You're only going to eat a, two or three of them, this, they're tapas. Or maybe not, <laughs> if you're like me. Right, so I'm just going to blend this now. Morning, Mary. Yeah, that look. Sunday brunch look. <laughs> I'm a nutter. Mm. So now we have a beautiful sauce. Look at that. Uh, I think we're nearly there, aren't we? Can we just check those? 1207, don't forget the croquettas. Croquettas, that's what I was going to say. Those are going to maybe be a bit late. I forgot. Oh no. Minute or two more. Look at those bad boys. Oh. So let's get the sauce into. You can stay over that side. I'm just going to get that. It's got a funnel. I've got a squirty okay. thing. Fancy schmancy on me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Steve from Churchwood Fisher is. Super peel turned up this week. I love it as much as the thermo. As much as his thermomix, oh dear. So Steve came on one of our classes. He came on our Thai class. And uh, making Thai involves a lot of pounding using a mortar and pestle. Steve kept popping indoors to use my thermomix because he's a big fan of the thermomix. And it doesn't make the same um, it doesn't do the same job as a mortar and pestle on Thai food. But Nick from Car from Carb has bought one. Oh yeah, he has. And he's almost tempted me into getting the new one. No. What? No. What do we know? No. Anyone want a second hand no. Thermomix? Let me know because that, that means I can have a brand new one. Honestly. That's definitely a no. Right. In this one. I have um, aioli, so it is, oh, that's spicy, that's good. This is mayonnaise with um, an extra clove of garlic. Quite <laughs> spicy, chopped into it. You're gonna love it, mama. Oh, good. All right, let's get those out of the way. Don't forget the croquettas. All right, croquettas. Here we go. Don't encourage him. Oh, did fish. somebody want mine? Yes, I'm really sorry. I can't remember um, Mr. Fish's name. <laughs> just, just contact me. It's a TM5, mine. Oh, Lunch and Munchin's just joined. Morning, Lunch and Munchin. Morning, Simon. We gave you a shout out this morning. <laughs> Hopefully you are feeling a lot better. Um, I know exactly where you are. Well, I don't. I know you. Yeah, he's yeah, in I know Frimley. he's in hospital. Yeah, but he was the one we said about having COVID, so. Sorry, Ian, those. I forgot your name. Oh. We'll put those on a bit of baking. Uh, a bit of baking. Just to say, Ian, towel. you are my favourite pensioner. Favourite what? Pensioner. Oh. <laughs> Have you got anyone from abroad today? Uh, 
Uh, I think, he, well, Johan Carlsson, I think, comes from Sweden, doesn't he? So right. he was on a little bit, a little bit. Cool. So in the last couple of weeks, we've had Spain, uh, Portugal, Australia. Look at those. <gasps> oh. oh. Anyway, right. So I'll sit over there. I'm just going to have a look how our, our kebabs are doing. Oh, hello. So, sorry, I. Sorry, yeah. So, you can just lift these out. Doing nicely. Smelling good. I might turn it up just a tiny bit. But it's sitting at just over 200, 210. Um, but we do need this pork, so we need to cook it a reasonable amount. 60, 63 would be nice. Um, so, let's get the patatas. Helena's going to hate me for this. Because? I'm just going to put them on the board and make a mess. <laughs> As Normal usual. service. So these are our uh, lovely crispy potatoes. So Ian has asked, is it possible to do the hot oil in a mini max? I guess you could do a shallow fry in a yeah, skillet. Yeah, you could do it in a skillet. Ah, look at that. Get rid of that. Go straight back in. Oh, I thought she was going in for no, it already. No, it'd be a bit hot, I'll burn my tongue. Yeah, I'm stealing. Right, so we've got those. We've got our croquetas. Okay, so Sam has asked, would they reheat okay if you fried them earlier in the day? The croquetas? Yeah. Yeah, stick them in the oven. They're yeah. beautiful, we've done it. Yeah, absolutely. I need to chop a little bit of parsley. I love that phrase, Simon. He said, those spuds look dirt lush. <laughs> that always reminds me of Jenny. Yeah. Right, so we've got our croquetas. We've got our patatas. We need some bravas on them. So hopefully- Oh, don't stand back, you might get sprayed. Yeah, hopefully we put enough. Oh, I didn't zoom it enough. This, oh, no, we're good. Oh no, hang on a sec. Okay. We'll pour it. Oh, hello. I haven't whizzed it up enough. So uh, the chopping board oh, is- Oh, it's, it's gonna be good. This is, this is a big green egg uh, slather board. They don't do them anymore. And what about the other one? The other, the one's... other one is the big green egg, large uh, chopping board, uh, large sure. butcher's block in stock. I can get hold of those for you. I'm covered. I've covered everywhere, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, don't forget, Carlos yeah. has just reminded me. Oh, I haven't forgotten that, Ioli. Sorry, I took a cheeky seat then. Yeah. So I was going, I was doing the, uh... oh, look at those bad boys. We will get our bit of parsley on there. How's that? And I'm going to go and grab a couple of kebabs to put on the end. God, look at it, I've got sauce everywhere. One. I am so tempted to try one. Let's have a little. 64, get in. Now, if you want them a bit more crispy on the outside, leave them a little bit longer. Turn the heat up. You just splitched it on the floor. Did I? Sorry. <laughs> we'll put them all on here. May as well. Look at those. <laughs> She's in there. She's stealing. <laughs> I did just take one, don't tell him. There you go. It was lush. So. Oh, I'm looking forward to this with a glass of wine at lunch. A few little bits of lemon to go with this. Uh, and I think that's it. So. We have our patatas bravas, our croquetas, de oh, hang on. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, let's just, you've got to hear it. 
Oh, and all the goo in there. Let's just check and look at that. I'm just going to check they're all right. They're probably way hot, hot, hot. Oh. Lush. Oh. Now I need to take photos of these, so don't eat them yet. Rude. We have our croquetta, uh, croquettas in the middle. We've got our patatas bravas with alioli and our, our salsa, hot salsa, and our pork Moorish kebabs that have, um, an, uh, I've forgotten the name of them, but a, a pinchos name. So pinchos are sp um, tapas. Pinchos means small, essentially, small dish. Um, pinchos are from the northern areas of Fra uh, France, of Spain. The tapas tend to be southern areas. So, but yeah, we can put some of this. Yeah, everyone's loving yeah. the. I th anyway, perfect. So, thank you to those of you who bought brick green eggs during the week. Um, so it's great, more than one this week, which is fabulous. Big picking up for Christmas. Don't leave it too long. Big green egg will stop. The last um, orders for Christmas are the 10th of December, so you haven't got long. Um, we took delivery last night of 40 rotisseries. So, um, please buy them. Please buy I them my because we Leave need the back. spare room for Christmas. So um, <laughs> no pressure. I've told them, uh, the family, if any of them want to sleep in that spare room, then they've got to buy the contents. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got pretty, pretty much everything. We're doing the installations of the Komodo space. We're selling the eggs. It's all good at the moment. So, but that is a cracking 45 minutes. Yeah. Loving it. Right, I'm gonna go Andy, and put Andy, you've missed a cracker. Yeah, go yeah, go. best one, Andy. Very good. So, um, we'll see you all next Thanks, week. Franco. If there's any... Oh, yes, and next week we're doing... Oh, next week is Christmas dinner. And? And? What am I forgetting? Special co-host. Oh, special co-host, yes. She's not been on today. She's not been on today, giving us... Uh, giving us grief um, the other sister so we'll have all three sisters here next week I think um, so Sarah will be here with us to give me grief um, and help cook I'm going to get her cooking um, so yeah we'll have the other sister cooking with me uh, I Irish with egg I think we've got some XL rotisseries haven't we yes we've got XL rotisseries in stock we've got mini max rotisseries large rotisseries medium rotisseries and extra large rotisseries in stock we've got the baskets we've got everything um, this, I've got a whole load of stuff that isn't even on the website and I need to do it. So that's this week's chore. I will not be around on Monday. Guess um, why? I'm playing golf. Ooh. Thank you. Carlos, your fault. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for joining us. We will see you next week. All right. Cheers, guys. <laughs>